I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. <gasps> She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Tork Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. We found these Ender Pearls. Well, I mean, those are really cool, but they don't really prove that Cassie was involved. It made more sense in my head. But that's okay. Stick with me, people. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats, and they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow? He's brown, orange, and white. Easy. <laughs> Wrong. I'm sorry, Jesse, but... It just doesn't add up. I guess that means the most likely candidate is still Lucas. No way. No way. I am not leaving here without him. So, do you punks want to do it the easy way? Or the way where I punch all of you? Guys! Guys! Come on! There are better ways to resolve this. I'm starting to wonder if you're all in on it. Please, I know I didn't convince you about Cassie, but you have to believe me that Lucas is innocent. No, 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 please, we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. I have the enchanted flint and steel. You had it? You? I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. Wait, Jesse was right. You were all so wrapped in your stupid drama. Oh, don't monologue. It's very unbecoming. Yeah, I think you should be quiet now, Cassie. Trust me. See, I told you guys. I just didn't do the best job of explaining. I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Oh, another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah! Yeah. Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. After everything she did, she got what she deserved. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Oh, 
I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Ah, oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank. A harmless prank. And I'm so sorry. So very, very sorry. Yeah, come on. It's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, whoever keeps it, just make sure you're careful with it, okay? Yes. The ability to jump between worlds is not something to take lightly. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie, what's her name, was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Oh, wow, I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true, I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's so strange. I thought... No! rotten world. I knew you weren't dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final trap. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives. Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. I'm sure you're way dumber than I am. You'll probably acclimate and learn to love it. Okay, you're right. You win. We'll give you the flint and steel. But let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Want something done right, Anton? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. <laughs> it's 
stupid door? Ugh, it's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me the key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. You guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grew tired of this game, Jesse. The key? You didn't have it either! Oh no, it's mine! Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. Bring the shiny thing to me! No! No! Yeah! <laughs> ah, there you are! After all this time, I am free! Winslow, we have to go! Have I told you about wandering off? I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> Never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> Come on, Winslow. Winslow, Winslow, come on. Oh, I love it. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey, cats suck. What did you say? You heard me, cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. Ah! <laughs> What's going? Ah, I've got it. Excellent. I did it. You're all dying now. Uh, no, thank you. Got it. No! I bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me, stuck again, out of Ender Pearls. And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped in my own trap. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait, at least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear, sweet Winslow, he's my best, my only friend. Please.
Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure.